by the United Center. Continuing coverage of day two of the 2017 NHL entry draft. Very pleased to be joined by Jared Anderson Dolan from the Spokane Chiefs Western Hockey League and now a Los Angeles King. Jared, uh, congratulations. Thank you. How does it Thanks. feel to put on the jersey? Feels unbelievable. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a huge honor. I think, uh, you know, you wait a long time for that moment. And once your name gets called, it's uh, it's just a lot of excitement. Uh, lucky to have my family here, so just really excited. Did you have any idea that it was going to be the LA Kings? Um, you know, I had a little bit of an idea. I had a, I had a feeling when once uh, they came around, I had a good interview with them. So I thought maybe that would be be uh, an option. And then, uh, you know, the draft's so unpredictable, so you never really know. But uh, once my name was called, it was uh, a lot of relief. You mentioned your family. Tell us about your upbringing growing up in an LGBT household and how that's shaped you. Yeah, uh, for me, it's it's normal. I know that it's, uh, it's a little bit unique, but for me, I don't know any other way of being raised. So it's uh, it's really normal for me. And I think that kind of, you know, recently it's allowed me to mature a lot. Uh, I've been, you know, a lot of attention on it. And uh, I think uh, for me, if I can continue to voice my, my opinion and show that I'm proud of it, then, uh, you know, I can make an impact in the community that way and doing my job. You're a Calgary kid, that's where you live, but you're playing down in Spokane, Washington with the Chiefs. So what's that like? What's the adjustment like going and playing down there? Uh, it's not too bad. It's a little bit different moving down to the States for the first time. Um, you know, I was, I was uh, born and raised in Calgary, like you said, so uh, a little bit weird going down there the first time, but uh, I was lucky to be put in a good situation with you know, Tim Speltz and Don Knockbar, guys like that, and had a great billet family, so it was a pretty smooth transition. And we aired the great feature about your background and also Pride Night, which you organized there in Spokane. Yeah. Is that yeah. right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, I think... Like I was talking about, I think if I can, you know, kind of raise awareness and kind of be part of that uh, with, uh, you know, my parenting situation, then I think uh, if I can have an impact on the community that way, then that's uh, that's pretty special. So uh, for me, just uh, organizing that was was very important to me, and I was uh, it was pretty cool to see my teammates jump on board with that. We saw some of the video there of you in action. Uh, give us a scouting report. What kind of player are you? What are the strengths, and what are the things you have to work on? Yeah, I think um, you know, a hardworking two-way forward. Uh, you know, love the offensive side of the game, want to produce, but. I think I, think I take a lot of pride in the defensive side of the game and then you know I think my, my shot and my skating probably be two of my strengths and for me as a centerman I think I just need to continue working on getting better on face-offs be more consistent there. Is there an NHL player currently in the league that you try to emulate you look up to? Yeah there's there's a couple guys but uh, main guy would probably be a guy like Jonathan Taves uh, like I said two-way I consider myself two-way forward and obviously Taves is one of the best two-way forwards in the game so just seeing how hard he works and the type of leader he is and uh, you know the winning pedigree I think uh, looking up to a guy like that I think uh, you can uh, learn a lot from from him so uh, he's definitely a guy I've looked up to for a long time. We were, I was joking before we went on that you, you have an uncle that lives in Hawaii you get yeah. to go over there in the summer and visit him and you were telling me well I can't go this year because yeah. I'm going to be busy so what is the summer like now you've been drafted you get ready for next season what are the things that you got to be focused on over the next couple months oh uh, well, I, I had to LA on on Monday for, uh, for development camp so uh, focus on that right now and then after just take what they the feedback they give me and what I need to work on just focus on that I think for me and being a little bit of a smaller guy I need to just continue building my you know my lower body and my my core strength and uh, you know learn how to use my my body a little bit more effectively I've interviewed now about over 50 guys here this weekend, and how many times they hear two way, two way, yeah. a two way guy. Well, that's a, hey, listen, you want to have success. That's what you got to do, right? Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think the you know, watch a lot of hockey. I think the league's kind of shaping that way. I think uh, you know, if you're not good in your D zone, then you're not going to be able to produce offensively. So I think uh, uh, a lot of guys are saying that just because I think that's the way the the league's uh, you know, it's it's shaping that way. I would be one way. I just want to score. I just want goals. <laughs> <laughs> You're responsible. I, think, I still yeah. think you should go to Hawaii this summer anyway. <laughs> hey, you can yeah. train there a little bit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Jared, great to meet you. Congratulations. Yeah, really Thanks a lot. Good Appreciate luck. it. Tony, back to you.